Well, as you know, the, the mountain chicken uh, frog, or the crapo as we call it, it's a very iconic species for us here in Dominica. It's, it's a species which has uh, significance in terms of its use as a wildlife species, used as food. It, it's one of, in fact, it was for a very long time, up to until recently, uh, referred to as a national dish. So it was a very, very popular um, wildlife species um, for its importance, both as food and also it formed part of a number of important symbols, and most notably the coat of arms of Dominica. Following the discovery of uh, frogs that were dying off in 2002 um, from an unknown cause, uh, the Dominican government requested assistance um, from uh, the Zoological Society of London um, due to their expertise in the area of, um, of amphibian diseases. Uh, as a result of that, it was discovered that the disease that was killing the frogs was chytridomycosis. From there, uh, a plan was put in place uh, to attempt to uh, mitigate the effects and um, uh, start a programme which would result in uh, conservation of, uh, of the mountain chicken frog. As a result of the project, um, we, we had the construction of the captive breeding facility in the Botanic Gardens. And of course, that facility was, the whole idea was if we could um, capture some of the frogs or bring in certain sick frogs and see how we could treat them and eventually probably release them in the wild if possible or, and, and probably reproduce healthy mountain chickens that eventually could be released in the wild. That's the, that's the whole concept. ZSL and Darwin actually and the government of Dominica came together and built the facility. Now, um, we have had different milestones since we have had the facility. First, we had to actually get the crickets, get them breeding, then we had to get the frog, which would be another milestone, get the frog to be disease-free, then get them to be healthy. Then last year, actually, we actually got a closer milestone where we were close to having frogs at the facility, where we actually discovered our first unfertile nest. So um, when we talk about the facility, there are different milestones that we've achieved. And last year was the first nest, so hopefully this year we might be able to breed mountain chicken. Mountain chickens have a unique reproductive mode and this was first described in captive animals held in zoos in Europe. So the males call from an underground nest or chamber and they entice a female into the chamber with these vocalisations and they produce a huge foam nest about the size of a giant marshmallow. And into this they lay the eggs. And then the nest is guarded by the male and the female frog and um, the female will actually feed the tadpoles that hatch out in these nests with infertile eggs once a week for a period of about a month. So there's a lot of parental care with the mountain chickens and it is a unique reproductive strategy amongst amphibians. My little day role at the facility um, entails different um, stuff like, first of all, when we go into the facility, we have to prepare live food, which was, when I say live food, I mean like we have crickets and cockroach that we actually um, breed on site for the frogs. Uh, all the species had to be from Dominica. Obviously, you don't want to risk uh, bringing something from outside the country and that escaping and becoming a, a pest problem. Uh, so, and then it's getting the conditions correct, uh, getting the, uh, the foodstuffs that you feed to the live food correct, uh, giving them the right amounts, uh, the, the cleaning regimes, and, and so on. So, uh, it's, uh, yeah, that was quite a, quite a process. When I go in here, I would have to actually prepare fresh vegetables for the crickets, and the cockroach, feed them properly so make sure like they are healthy so that I can pass them on to the frog. We have the other task where we have to um, make sure the mountain chicken frog is healthy, that their habitat which, which we create in the facility is um, safe and as well this is free. So we also when we go into the facility of the frogs itself we have to um, do a visual inspection to make sure the frogs look healthy, change their water bowl to make sure that their nest sites and hiding places are all intact, make sure that the enclosure is always clean and make sure there is um, enough water or it's moist enough to make the frog think that they're in the forest because we replicate the forest as well. So obviously we sincerely hope that we're going to get breeding. That's, that's the main goal is to get some of the frogs in there to breed and then we can take some steps to, on deci to decide uh, how and where and when to, to release those uh, juveniles that, uh, that uh, arise out of, out of the successful breeding. So obviously that is the ultimate goal. My hope for the project is to breed the mountain chicken successfully at the, at the facility and to really see them reintroduce back in the wild and they, they can actually boom back to the numbers or get back to the numbers they used to be before.